So I took a year out before I came to university, so I was actually 19, um, which helped me prepare a lot for um, just different life from school. I chose Southampton because of its excellent reputation uh, for engineering and its proximity to where I grew up, and it's only about an hour away from home. I've always enjoyed maths and physics at school and I really wanted to study something where I could apply maths to physics and mechanical engineering just seemed like the perfect opportunity. I really enjoyed being at Southampton for my three years. It's um, great to be close to London if you need to go up for courses or just days out and you've got the New Forest on the doorstep which provides like, fun activities to do at the weekend. There's lots of great extracurricular activities um, put on um, through SUSU. I play hockey at the university and it's really great to be involved in a big team sport and get opportunities to meet new people and to travel to different universities. At the moment I'm enjoying my individual project, which is something that you have to do in third year where you work really closely one-to-one -one with an academic you get to get really in depth into understanding one particular area and it's a bit like doing a mini PhD preparation which is something that I'm interested in doing in the future so it's a really great opportunity to work closely with academics who are really engaged and leading in their subject. My projects um, numerically modelling um, fluid flow through plants so it's looking at how you code um, equations so you can put numbers in and actually get a physical answer at the end of it, opposed to just lots of algebra. I have a really good personal tutor who um, I meet up with once a term, just to check that I'm getting on okay and to pass back any feedback I have on courses. I've had the opportunity to meet with some of my supervisors for my modules when I'm if I'm struggling or a little bit unsure in an area, then I've been able to go to them and ask for help on problem sheets and just generally um, around the topic. Before I started, I didn't really know um, how to solve the equations numerically. So I had to um, ask for a lot of help from my supervisor and also a post-doctorate to just kind of explain it in a way that um, I could understand. And at the start, it just went over my head, but we sat down and for about an hour and broke down everything into like simple steps so um, I could understand it. Typical weeks really vary depending on your year and um, so in first year you have a lot of lectures, a lot of contact hours. Um, with every lecture series you'll have tutorials and problem sheets and you'll have lots of contact hours with um, academics to go through these. As you get further and further up, it's less contact hours, um, more personal working. So in first year you have a lot of labs where you work through things practically. In the second year you have them, but in third year you don't really have any labs because you're working on an individual project. I encourage them to get involved in as much um, stuff as possible, but remembering that actually you're at Southampton to do a degree. So um, you need to take on extra curricular activities because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to try new things. But also make sure you attend all your lectures and don't get behind because it's really difficult to catch up because lectures don't really spoon feed you. At the start I was really unsure. The campus seemed massive. I did, never thought I'd be able to get um, my way around or I didn't think I'd have any friends or everything was just really big and scary but as you get used to it things seem a lot less scary the campus actually isn't that big it's definitely manageable and even if the people that you don't you live with aren't your closest friends there are so many people out there that you'll you'll meet people who who turn out to be really good friends you might not meet them in your first week or your first term but definitely by third year you'll have managed to make some really good friends